how's it going? It's kind of a hot day. It's like 85 degrees, and that's pretty hot for the Puget Sound area. And I was going to do this video at Orange Gate Properties, do a walk and talk video where it takes a long time to say what I'm going to say, but uh, I decided to come back home and make a more concise video here. Now, as I've said many times, some parts of the left like to manipulate language in order to promote their narrative. I find it very annoying. Now, there's the obvious changing of the definitions of the words racism and sexism to reflect the importance of power and privilege. I mean, I wouldn't put it past some of these types of people to try to redefine the word prejudice to reflect power and privilege as well. You know, change the definition for the same reasons. Further destroying the ability to reasonably talk about what it's like and what happens when people who do not have institutional power treat like shit those who do have institutional power. But, you know, we see these people declaring that the dictionary definitions are incorrect, you know, for things like that. As well as things like the dictionary definitions of socialism and communism that we're supposed to ignore those dictionary definitions and the history. But yet these same people will take other instances and declare that the dictionary definitions and mission statements of, you know, other instances, that they're all correct. And how dare we question the dictionary definitions or question the mission statements of a movement? For instance, we're supposed to judge feminism on its dictionary definition. We're supposed to judge Black Lives Matter on their slogan alone, as well as Antifa. We're supposed to ignore what all these different groups do as collective mobs. When it comes to how we define those groups, we're supposed to ignore all the political messaging that typically comes from them. I mean, of course they want us to listen to the political messaging, but we're not supposed to define those groups on that political messaging. Sounds confusing? Well, it is. And that's how they want it. They push that feminism is about equal rights for women, that Black Lives Matter is a simple statement that black lives do matter, and that Antifa simply means that you're against fascism. It's so convenient. If you state otherwise, or you criticize anything, about any of those groups, you're a bigot, or you're racist, or you're misogynistic, or you're an alt-righter, or a number of other negative labels. Another example of trying to use language to change the meaning of something is in the discussions people have about abortion. Let me first state that I am absolutely pro-choice. I strongly believe that anyone has the right to have something removed that's growing inside their body. It doesn't matter if it's another living human being or not. They have the right to have something removed that's growing inside their body. Someone has the right to do to their body what they choose. And when a child is growing inside someone's body, that child is still part of that person's body. The difference in my position is a pretty significant one at least to a lot of people it's a significant difference, is that I don't try to change how awful abortion is by categorizing a fetus as not really being human. Life starts at conception, and a fetus is an undeveloped child. It's still a baby, it's still a child, it's just not developed yet. Having said that, a child literally has no rights until it's born. Once we eventually have artificial wombs available everywhere, which is eventually going to happen, they're already doing it with other animals, so this isn't... I mean, yeah, it's kind of sci-fi, but it's also something that's likely to eventually happen. So, once we have that kind of technology, to where someone can have a child removed from their body, without killing it, and without it eventually dying as a result of being removed from the body, then at that point, I think most abortions, or virtually all abortions, should be illegal. I'm sure there's some sort of medical instance that could 
be shown that, yes, uh, this is the only option, okay, fine. But in most cases, no. I know that some people will really, really disagree with me on that. Essentially arguing that before certain stages in development, an unborn child isn't really human and we shouldn't view it as murder as a result. Because if you can categorize things differently, you can magically change what it really is. And yes, I get the overpopulation argument. That just means that we need to focus a lot more on birth control and make sure that birth control is available to everyone. Now, this isn't only a left-wing thing. The right wing has its fair share of that, especially in the way that they like to name bills that they are pushing forth. A lot of Republican bills do exactly the opposite of what their name is. Oftentimes, bills that are created by the right wing that take away people's rights, they'll label as a freedom bill. Hey, how about the Patriot Act? Yeah, the right is very good at this. So, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not saying that the right is innocent in all this stuff. But the left does it from a scholarly perspective. It declares that you're uneducated or ignorant unless you agree with their narratives about this stuff. So, I don't know. But it's frustrating either way.